him an offense and said they should read it as a song he was not even embarrassed about it that is a kind of heart condition and God said you are a man after my heart number two the second dimension if you want to encounter the spirit of power I'm still on point one maybe that can be one a now and this is one B prayer and fasting the ministry of prayer and fasting is directly connected to spiritual power prayer with fasting Luke chapter 1 for the sake of time we'll read 1 2 and 14 Luke chapter 4 1 2 13 or 1 2 14 the Bible says, and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from the Jordan and was led by the same spirit he was full of into the wilderness. You would think the coming of the Holy Spirit would be the end of it. He was full of the Holy Spirit and by the leadership of the Holy Spirit, he was led. Verse 2, the Bible says, and being 40 days tempted of the devil, in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended afterwards, he was hungered fasting praying are irrefutable biblical keys as far as access to power is concerned now i tell you fasting is not everything prayer is not everything they have their roles the major roles they have to play but when it has to do with the ministry of power forget it if you do not submit yourself to the ministry of prayer and fasting praying one day will not bring you power praying six months will not bring you power the the power that comes through prayer requires consistency until you become a slave to that dimension then you are endued with power please hear me believers this is how we started I know you have heard me say I'm a product of many anointings don't think I was just lying down and various hands were laid on me no sir you can meet the most anointed man in the world and receive nothing when your capacity has not been enlarged. Was Jesus not around Judas? Was Jesus not around Thomas? Why didn't they receive? Power. Prayer and fasting. A generation that understands how to pray with understanding is a generation that will access power. Show me a man of God that commands spiritual power with no honor to the ministry of prayer and fasting. I show you a dimension of an operation of a spirit, not the spirit of God. If it's the spirit of God, it will respond to the ministry of prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Whatever attacks your prayer life has attacked your potential to encounter the power dimension of the Spirit of God. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. There are men of God who do not submit themselves to intense moments and seasons of prayer and wonder why certain spiritual possibilities don't happen and just generalize it and think everybody who walks in power is just faking it. No. There, are, there is an investment of prayer sacrifice with fasting. Let me tell you. Food is good, but food can be dangerous if you don't have an appetite. You don't have the power to tame it. Are we together? Yes, sir. I know there are all kinds of arguments in the body of Christ about fasting. That's not my assignment tonight. But I'm telling you if it is authentic spiritual power, power as of old you are looking for, the ministry of prayer with fasting. There are people if by 7 a.m. in the morning you don't eat, it will be as if you are having headache. It's a spirit. I assure you. Even medically, it's not even absolutely correct. The day you don't want to fast, you can stay even by 4 p.m. and forget. But the day you say, I will fast. 7.30. And some of you will use Tom Tom 
or zobo to break that fast is that normal is that what will satisfy your hunger it's a spirit let me tell you the truth there is no gift of fasting fasting all kinds of fasting take discipline let no one make you feel that there's an extra grace there is no record of any unusual grace for fasting in the bible fasting affects your spirit soul and body you will feel tired you will feel the weight of hunger but it takes you placing value who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame for someone god is speaking to you gluttony is what is eating your potential for genuine spiritual power talk to spirits they talk back to you they keep quiet even we are spirits who are not eating you who wants to cast <laughs> You don't just tell somebody, come. You don't just speak and you see, people are just shouting. It takes more than laying on of hands, my brother. There is a testament. Praying, fasting. Many of us, if we check your prayer account, you don't have up to 1,000 naira. How much? And yet, you want to buy houses in the spirit? You want to buy estates? You are joking with 1,000 even in a credit system the bank will not give you money with that kind of bad account you need to up your game wake up in the night wake up in the night wake up in the night shake slumber out of your body wake up in the night pray pray with seriousness don't pray while browsing you are playing don't pray while running around answering a call and coming back if it is time to pray shut down everything nothing else matters nothing else counts I'm in the Lord, I pray concerning this assignment that you have for me. Who but you can empower a man to take the nations. Lord, there are sick bodies that need to be healed. There are lives and destinies. Only God knows how many dead bodies have been allocated for your anointing to raise back. Only God knows how many wheelchairs are the mercy of your spiritual development. Lord, for my sake, for, for the sake of your name, move, move in and through my life. And one night you will go to pray like every other night. Except that while you are praying, something happens to you that did not happen before. And you will know something has come upon you. The next time you stand before people, God's people, He will honor you. You run away from Him in the secret and want to play church and think He will just honor you in the presence of people. You are playing games. You see, we keep making a fool of ourselves because we think that God plays all kinds of games and gimmicks. You think you just stand before people talking and you see people shouting up and down? You try it. You must pray. You must pray. There are times you need to settle down. Pray. Carry your vision. What God has given you. Place it on the ground and pray. Lord, you told me my assignment is to raise my five children. They will not fail. Father, you sent me as, as an apostle, as a prophet, as an evangelist for your glory as i travel from nation to nation lord i pray in the name of jesus let the two lift gates of the cities be open for the gospel let there be healings lord you have made me a worshiper listen hold on one minute let me talk to you my dear worship people pray oh don't just have good voices for songs you see let me tell you why many 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 people who sing don't bless people they don't pray they only train their voice voice training without a track record of solid prayer the deficiency will show on stage no matter how you twist your voice you are leading praise and worship you don't just rehearse and clear your voice and take lemon and honey and come and sing you are dealing with spirits you are dealing with destinies 
take out time and pray from that place of prayer the difference will be very clear that you are carrying something on your head please my dear people pray worship team pray God is raising you it's not only your songs it is prayer that puts something on that song more than melodies and you stand to lead worship and as you just raise one song the glory that emanates from your prayer altar through your voice just sweeps across the place and you are seeing sick bodies getting healed you are not even aware just one song and they say what kind of a worshiper are you it's beyond songs beyond songs it is in the place of prayer you will receive many songs there are songs you don't have the brain to compose they will come by the spirit sometimes you will fall asleep while praying and then you will hear the angels are singing Hosanna in the highs the angels are singing you will not hear any angel with spiritual unseriousness no prayer and fasting please pray I will not give you rules but let me challenge you if you are a serious Christian this is my personal opinion at least there should be a day once a week for you to fast if that is too much then forget about revival believe me this is not a doctrine I'm giving you there's no place like that in scripture but I'm telling you any as if you are called into ministry let me challenge you and, and, and admonish you by the message of God except you want to make mockery of yourself and make mockery of the name of the Lord through your life there is a level of stamina you have to trust God for grace to tame food it is good to eat I'm not one of these people that advocate people have died through carelessness and died the death of fools that's not what I'm teaching you You want to lay hands on the sick and see miracles you want to speak the word of God and let it come with power man of God pray there are some of us who are young we are just starting and already we are careless one month no prayer no fasting and I hope you know that fasting is not just a time where you abstain from food and sleep you are not fasting albeit that is important for your health but that is not fasting when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast let me repeat when there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast no matter even if you do 48 hours 72 hours that was spent sleeping if there is no prayer what study and worship you did not fast so just because you slept by nine and woke up by four and slept back again and woke up quarter to five and already started arranging your food waiting for six on the dot of course God will honor you he's merciful but I am telling you that's not fasting and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in Give us verse 14, Luke 4 14. Let's hurry up. Luke 4 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. In verse 1, he was driven by the Spirit, full of the Spirit, but the Bible does not mention power. Verse 14, having prayed and fasted, even though with the Spirit. He returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And the Bible says there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. 
I believe in the ministry of fasting and prayer. Please submit yourself. Fasting is not for men of God. Fasting is not for those in trouble. Fasting is not for those that the doctors say they have diabetes or they have, you know, something that is wrong with them medically. Fasting is for all men. I truly believe that. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Prayer with fasting. Hallelujah. If you are pregnant and you have children, don't worry, we'll fast for you. Our fasting will cover you. And even children too can fast. Let me tell you, don't over pamper your children until spirits enter them. Children can fast. You can, they can fast and end by 12. It does not kill them. Don't say my child is too small. Let him grow. By the time he grows, he already has. Do you think that it was a legion that entered the madman in Gadara in one day? They kept coming and calling themselves and said, this man is an available tool until they became a legion. Encounter with the spirit of power. Number two, the second platform. I hope you got my arrangement that I'm giving you three biblical platforms for accessing power with God. Number one is through encounters. Encounter with the spirit of power and that there are two conditions you want to encounter the spirit of God with his power, your heart condition, and then the ministry of prayer and fasting. 